Hello poetry lovers and poetry curious. I am here for another poem out of the Vintage Book of Contemporary American Poetry. This is going to be a tourist from Syracuse by Donald Justice. I could have sworn that I had read this to you all at some point for some kind of um, video, but I will read it again because when I looked back on my videos I couldn't find it and it's worth reading and I will probably read others um, more than once on this channel as they occur more than once amongst the anthologies and books of poetry that I read and many poems are worth reading more than once. Um, so Donald Justice um, again, I'll probably re repeat this for each one of these. Um, I expect if you were to Google him, you would get Wikipedia. If you go to the bottom of a Wikipedia entry on uh, a poet, you have a list of their publications. If you would want to get um, a book of his. And uh, the Poetry Foundation also generally has a biographical entry on the poet and then a selection of the poet's poetry. And I would be shocked if they didn't have this one. This is a very famous poem. Well, maybe I shouldn't say very famous. <laughs> because a lot of poems that are famous to me or would not be famous to anybody else. It's a well-known poem. It's a, a much anthologized poem. All right. This begins with an epigraph. One of those men who can be a cat, a cat salesman. One of those men who can be a car salesman or a tourist from Syracuse or a hired assassin. So this is part of, um, I believe, a poem by John D. MacDonald. Is he? No. Um, but I'm not sure of that, but it is a quote by John D. MacDonald. And here is the poem by Donald Justice in response to that. You would not recognize me. Mine is the face which blooms in the dank mirrors of washrooms as you grope for the light switch. My eyes have the expression of the cold eyes of statues watching their pigeons return from the feed you have scattered. And I stand on my corner with the same marbled patience. If I move at all, it is at the same pace precisely as the shade of the awning under which I stand waiting, and with whose blackness it seems I am already blended. I speak seldom and always in a murmur as quiet as that of crowds, crowds which surround the victims of accidents. Shall I confess who I am? My name is all names, or none. I am the used car salesman, the tourist from Syracuse, the hired assassin waiting. I will stand here forever, like one who has missed his bus, familiar, anonymous, on my usual corner, the corner at which you turn to approach that place where now you must not hope to arrive. So very both quotidian, everyday, and ominous. Anyway, I love that. I, I find it very humorous. <clears throat> I don't even know if that's the way it was intended. I suspect, I suspect so. But um, in any case, again, I'm not going to belabor these as I share these poems. Um, that is The Tourist from Syracuse by Donald Justice. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.